Okay, hi. I'm going to demonstrate this awesome method of actually having your North American number, or you can even start a brand new North American number, um, without actually paying for a phone plan in North America. So it's done through Twilio. You have to create a Twilio account. And I don't have specifics on that. I have done it. I actually did it. I will show you. I did it because I'm actually a CRM consultant and we have a few different Twilio numbers so that we can call clients directly from our CRM. So this is a customized Zoho CRM database. And because I've got my Twilio um, internet-based phone hooked in to this particular CRM, I can make phone calls and then it will record the phone calls in a call log, which is wonderful. Um, so that's how I knew about Twilio. But then when I came to Costa Rica, I was like, oh man, I wonder if I can bring, like, I don't want to keep on paying Rogers $130 per month because I had a lot of data. Um, but I also don't want to lose my Canadian number, right? Like I need people to be able to call me uh, on a Canadian number. So I was able to port my number over to Twilio. It did take a few weeks. I had to give Rogers official authorization to release the number. And then they gave me an exact date that was going to get switched over on. So I made sure that I checked all my voicemails and, um, you know, did whatever I needed to do. But that gives me now capability. I use this app called Talktiv and it is powered by Twilio. So they work in conjunction and I'm able to make calls, receive calls, and as well as make text messages, like send text messages and receive text messages from my computer, also from my phone. Um, so I'm demonstrating right now the computer example. So when we're doing this using a computer, we always need to have this little graphic avail or this little window open. Uh, it's for making calls and receiving calls. And if I try to close it, it's going to tell me, nope, we've got to have this open. Um, so, and the other thing is you've always got to remember to put the plus sign. And then if you're calling North America, there's going to be a one and then the area code and then the number. Um, if you were calling Costa Rica, it would be plus 506 and then the number. Uh, so, you know, you have to learn like the little, um, I don't know, little quirks, but basically I get a full log of all of the calls incoming and outgoing, missed and accepted, and even voicemail. So here's a little voicemail. If I click on that, it opens in another window. Oh, hi. This is just Amber leaving a sample voicemail. Okay. Bye. There we go. There's my voicemail. Um, and then SMS is pretty straightforward too. Like we can create a new one if I wanted to send a text message. Like if I wanted to reply to this, hi, just testing, please ignore this. There you go. Oh my goodness, my internet is not usually this slow. There you go. So now we can see that. And as you can see, it's a little glitchy. Like I now don't see the message that I had received prior to this but trust me it's there it'll come back um but honestly like it costs less than a cent per sms and less than a cent in most cases per minute of phone call so i am no longer paying you know 130 bucks a month for my phone um it's it's probably less than 20 dollars per month i have my movistar plan that is 5900 colonies so then i've got my four gigs of data and it lasts a month. I've never gone over. So like it's it's pretty stellar. It works pretty nicely. And again, like I am a computer consultant. Um, even with my sick computer skills, like I, I did it was it was not the easiest process getting this to happen, but it wasn't because of my computer knowledge. Um it was more just because, oh, you, you've got to wait and you've got to set it up, right? You've got to give Rogers or give your phone company the proper authorization, all of that. But it works really well. And I'm going to demonstrate shortly how it works um, on the phone. So give me a sec. All right. So now we are looking at my phone. And if you look at the bottom left, uh, you will see the Talktiv app which I just tapped. And this is a list of like, it's a call log, all of my outgoing and incoming calls, just like we saw on the computer. 
Uh, I don't know how to access voicemail from my phone. I have configured a script so that it emails it to me, but you can always check the voicemail from your computer. And as you can see, you can scroll down, see all the different calls and their durations. You can, if I wanted to call someone, I could just tap on it and it would call that number. I couldn't record that on the screen. Um, I couldn't record what it looks like when there's an incoming call too. Like it's slightly different from a regular call. Now we can do conference calling, which I've never done, but like super cool if you wanted to. Um, I usually just use Zoom for that. Um, and also we can do the SMS from here, which is what I use it most for. People that have Android phones back in North America that want to send me a message, they will send it here and I can respond to them. Um, receiving, you know, authorization codes if you log into a website and they need a confirmation code, although it doesn't always work with this service, so it's not reliable. Um, but you do have to, <laughs> there's some nice desserts in Guanacaste, you do have to um, make sure that you close the app each time you use it because it seems to be a little glitchy if you don't do that. But, you know, just all nuances that I've learned as I've done it and it's fantastic.